Hey my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Coming to market very soon is the all new Audi A5 and S5 Sportback, a popular play on the four door A4 sedan series they call a coupe. Based on the A4 series platform and sharing a nearly identical wheelbase, the new Sportback 5-door coupe has a stretched roofline that's longer and lower, and therefore sexier. Think of it as a smaller version of the popular A7. The face is much the same as the A4 series, but has a hood that wraps down over the bulging fenders to accommodate a slightly wider track. Rear quarters have also got a more sculpted coke bottle shape, giving it a more athletic stance. Taillights in the rear three-quarter view share much in common with the larger A7. A more aggressive lower fascia cleanly sets off dual exhaust outlets and a very subtle lip spoiler is molded into the rear hatch. Coming in two versions at the launch, you can get the A5 which comes with a 2.0-liter TFSI four-cylinder engine with 252 horsepower and 278 pound-feet of torque, along with standard quattro all-wheel drive. Audi tells us that can achieve 0-60 to 60 in as little as 5.7 seconds. The big power option, however, is the S5 you see here with its turbocharged 3.0-liter V6 good for 354 horsepower and an astounding 369 pound-feet of torque. With quattro all-wheel drive and an 8-speed automatic transmission, it can accelerate from 0 to 60 in some 4.5 seconds, says Audi. As said, the quattro all-wheel drive is standard on both models and features a self-locking center differential and a torque split of 40 to 60 front to rear. In addition to that, its braking system can automatically vector torque to individual wheels. Like the latest Audi A4, this one also gets a redesigned 5-link front suspension that offers superior wheel control and precision over a McPherson strut layout, and here also benefits from a steering rack being mounted at the same level as the wheel centers. Inside, the cabin shares much of its design and content with the new A4 sedan, including its wide array of genuine high-quality materials of leather, aluminum, and available woods. The dash houses an available 12.3-inch virtual cockpit display that I really love when I tested the A4 just recently. The big difference here over the sedan, of course, is the rear seating compartment and cargo area. While it is a sexy coupe, Audi retained the three across seating in the rear for practicality's sake. These seats can also fold down in a 40-20-40 split to take advantage of a full flat cargo floor. When the new Audi A5 and S5 Sportback arrive at local Audi dealerships literally any day now, pricing will start at $42,600 and range up to $50,200 for the three trim grades of the A5 Sportback. The S5 Sportback comes only in the top two trims, Premium Plus and Prestige, with pricing of $54,400 and $58,800 respectively. Now of course I'll bring you a far more detailed review a little bit later down the road when I get time to spend behind the wheel in one of these things. Until then, click right here and see our latest test drive or click right here, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Either way, stay tuned!